They can't have deny also, right? They can't just have everything in the world. You gotta let it resolve. We gotta play a fair game. Yes, all right. We at least have a chance. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for a casual Friday stream. Uh, this is something that gotten some feedback that people want to see a casual Friday where we, uh, I don't know, basically where I'm just not wearing a dress shirt and a tie. Uh, for those of y'all that uh, want to see just somebody streaming in a normal t-shirt or I guess a polo, still got to wear your, your collared shirt even on a casual Friday. So hopefully, uh, you know, this is something a little bit of a change of pace. Hopefully y'all enjoy it. We're going to be uh, playing four fun decks as always. Uh, we're going to be trying out the Glorious Evolution deck that we played one time over in Normal, which was really cool and is a lot of fun to play. We're going to try it in Ranked. Made it just a couple of small card changes here and there, but it's basically a deck built around this 10 mana slow spell, Glorious Evolution. It gives all of our cards minus one cost. That's good. They all have Augment, and they're created by Glorious Evolution, so they are created cards, and then they are also tech. And so that means that they are turrets for leveling up Heimerdinger. So all of our like units help level up Heimerdinger. And then all of our cards are also have the Augment. Um, and they're all created cards to level up Victor. And so they just go perfectly with Victor and Heimer and Glorious Evolution. This is going to be a slow deck. This is going to be a deck that and it doesn't have like great, great interaction. If our opponent's going like... You know, Merciless Hunter, Sivir, Ruin Runner. They're probably going to run us over. Not going to lie. That's that's probably going to happen. But hopefully we play against some slower opponents. Maybe like some Zillion decks. Or like some Talia decks or something like that. And give us some some uh, time to kind of set up. Maybe we play against some Mirror Matches. Some other Victor and Heimer decks. That would be cool. Because we're going to have Glorious Evolution and Feel the Rush. And these cards at the top end to go along with our champion. So... Let's go ahead and try it out. We'll go play some Glorious Evolution. We'll go play five games in ranked. Okay, Draven Ezreal. So not like the fastest deck. They'll have a lot of interaction. Um, hopefully we can slow them down enough and keep them from killing us. That would be ideal. <laughs> What's up, Captive? Yeah, Hawk No Tie. <laughs> Just Hawk T. We're wearing a t-shirt. <laughs> Today. Because it's casual Friday. The boom, the boom. It's not like a trade I want to make, but I also don't want to take damage, right? Like every hmm, every damage we take, you know, the more damage we take, the worse for us. He spent some time to set that up. Alright, passing. I will pass as well. So that's cool. They didn't uh, continue to add to the board. The world's a big place. Let's see all of it. Hoping this works. I don't think they can save Ezreal, but hoping it works. All right, cool. I could not save Ezreal. No way. So obviously, this isn't a good trade for me, but again, we can't just take a bunch of damage. Not a great trade, but you gotta do what you gotta do. All right, so they just used a Culling Strike. Maybe I'll just play Tavern Keeper. This will take the chill off. It's Draven time. How about another round? Maybe give me a little bit more mana to protect Victor with troll chance and stuff. Now we're cooking. Let's do this. I've got meat bigger than you. Yeah, 
using Brittle Steel so they don't get to create another uh, Spinning Axe. All right, not a bad round. With utmost efficiency. Not a bad round. Once I stand papers, now faces. I would definitely like to draw our top end cards. Ooh, elusive. Now we can get out of cooling strike range as well by playing this. Jern Sim Simmons with the raid. Welcome everybody from Jern Simmons stream. Just started today's casual Friday stream where we are uh, playing these four decks that are up here. Genius. These old eyes still see far and clear. Need to keep Troll Chant available for Ravenous Flock, but I, I wanted to see, like, if they play Ravenous Flock, I would Troll Chant and then play the Thermogenic Beam. That was kind of my plan. I like Spell Shield, I like Tough. Fearsome. Okay, haven't been playing Runeterra as much uh, lately, but try to keep up with the content. Well, thank you very much. I'm glad. Happy to hear that you're back, though. Well, thank you, Jern Simmons. Thank you very much. Hopefully you're enjoying Runeterra. Let's see. Are we going to just... I guess we're just going to Troll Chant, right? Because the thing is, like, if I block Troll Chant, if they have another Draven and they have... Problem is, yeah, another Draven and then Whirling Death. But then again, I could just play a new Victor, so I guess it's not the worst. Look out for Reavers. The human mind takes publish or perish. But yeah, Whirling Death is the the worst case scenario. Okay, cool. Where's Ezreal at? Four out of six? I am superior life form. Oh, you think I should have blocked the 4-3 with my 2-1 and then Ravine? That would probably make sense. I didn't want to... Oh, probably later. I didn't want... Like, yeah, I didn't... Hmm. I didn't want to do damage to my own Victor, if possible. Man, this is this is kind of rough. None of our top end cards. Oh, that's a great card. This is looking bad. Timer. Let's talk about your attack. I take a lot of damage. Who's gonna close up? Considering playing Heimer first before Avalanche to get the 4-1. Maybe I just play Victor first and start getting creative cards and keywords. Join the glorious evolution. Rise, metal brethren. Metal is 
perfection. Spell shield. Challenger. Dang. Mm, that is the absolute worst card in our deck, right? Well, I mean, I guess... I guess if we make a 5-1, was it Quick Attack? Yeah, Quick Attack. I guess we can make a 5-1. Order, entropy, a never-ending cycle. Good. With that thing dying, we don't get the four one. Just need to draw field the rush. We can still win this if we draw Field of Rush. Come on, Field the Rush! Nope. Because of Heimer, I want to wait on this Catalyst. Feel the rush. Okay. Timer. No, you don't get the four mana turret for Avalanche because the Heimerdinger dies. It's not. It's not in play. Four damage to me. I mean, do I have to block with timer? I guess I do. Yeah. Anticipated outcome. Added to the bug list. The future is steel and science. No. Wait. What are they doing? Why did they just do that to my Heimer that just blocked? And then just kill me like I'm dead. All right, feel the rush. <laughs> I guess I'm like out of champions anyway. I guess feel the rush doesn't really work. So I think they've already killed all, all three victors. Yeah, all right, fine. All right, GGs. We did see that game. Like how my opponent did have all of like they had all three copies of the deal. Deal one twice, draw a card. We don't have any draw a card. And, you know, besides, like, the Sump Dredger. And I guess Sentry, but we didn't have any Sentries, so... Oh, we saw that. Okay, so this is the kind of matchup that we are going to get ran over in. Um, so we're talking about us getting run over. So they're gonna have like all elusives. That's the thing is like like Sentry is not gonna be able to block stuff. Like they're all their cards are gonna be elusive. So I kind of want more avalanche type cards. They'll never see me coming. Closing in on the mark. I needed you last game, Glorious Evolution. Another day in the field. The Yordle here is with me. 
Well, I'm glad we had Avalanche. But man, talk about like how this hand would have been perfect last game. Glorious Evolution and Field of Rush. So of course I could have Mystic Shot that first, but I can also just wait on Mystic Shot because, you know, maybe we draw uh, something else that we want to use. Or, you know, like maybe we have the Heimerdinger in play first before the Mystic Shot. Alright, I think I'm going to discard Glorious Evolution, I think. I think with like this matchup, how they're just like real aggro elusives, like I just don't think we're going to have time for it. I walk my path alone. Like, we may have time for Field Rush. Like, that could help, but probably not enough time for Glorious Evolution as well. I know, right? Heimer does look really cool in these shades. <laughs> I like this pool party, Heimer. Hang on, Buzzball! Hey! Order, entropy, a never-ending cycle! So I could have gone Aftershock plus Mystic Shot this round, but just doing the Mystic Shot so I can get Heimer in play and start making turrets because we want to race them with these turrets. Don't really expect this to work. But maybe we get the 4 1 turret. My plan here is to probably play a ballistic bot and then the turret and have. Because, you know, the turrets are. Aug like, they help out the augment their created cards. So I could have just led off with the bot first and then played this to see if they spent some mana. Okay. But just in case, we got Troll Champ. Not expecting to need troll champ, but just in case. I am superior life form. Hey, Krabby! That's my advancement in ballistics. Prepare for anything. I am the future. Would I trade Heimer for Greenglade Duo? Mm, no. Not withholding Avalanche. So they kind of have to play stuff. They play stuff out of Avalanche. They don't play stuff. They're not killing us. They're in a tough spot. The game's not over, but I'll be surprised if we lose this. Some things have to go pretty wrong for us to lose this. It's down to six. I don't want just a few burn spells to kill us, though, like a couple get excited. Let's go ahead and, and attack in with all this stuff. Go get him, Heimer. And then we still have the ignition for a damage. I like this Tavern Keeper, Healer Nexus a little bit. I'll be surprised if we lose this game. Yeah, I just I thought it was unlikely that our very top card would have any puff caps. You know, it was just five puff caps. As much, you know, it ended up it did end up that we did draw a puff cap on the very top card. 
So therefore, we took two. Alright, so they're still alive for now. They have to open attack. Because they have to open attack because otherwise. Um Do not the Otherwise we get to play the ignition that we can can create. And you know, I want to play Field of Rush this next round, but we have too many things in play. Maybe we can have a couple of things die from a Z attack. Really? Both the top two cards <laughs> had buff caps? Alright, but it doesn't matter. But that's some bad luck. Draven Jinx. This will be a good time to get some more avalanches. Alright, we're going to send the bot back. I feel like Flash Freeze could be really good against, like, either Draven or Jinx, like, block with the Tavern, you know, Flash Freeze it and block with the Tavern Keeper. The, uh, the Ballistic Bot's probably just a little slow here, that's why I sent it back. Not my favorite hand for this matchup. I would like to have the card Avalanche. We saw that last game. Avalanche being very important. All right, well, if they have a little 1-1 one, one Scrap Scuttler, I guess the Ballistic Bot blocks a Scrap Scuttler better than Ever as the Sentry does. No, I did not stop Champion Spotlight Day. It's on Wednesdays. It's just this this week we had the patch with... Uh, last couple of weeks we've had just, like, patches, but we had the patch this week with um, the new... whatever it's called that's really fun. And I, and I really wanted to play that. Uh, this, the Saltwater Scourge, that's the name of it. I really wanted to play that Saltwater, saltwater Scourge. These old eyes still see far and clear. And then we basically did a Champion Spotlight Day yesterday where because all of our donation decks were all action decks. And so we played a lot of action. We played all action yesterday. Now we're cooking. Axes coming right up. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Dang, that's a lot of damage. Safety disengage. Join the glorious evolution. The flesh bags will bow, break maker. Victor could hit life steal. No materials, no improvements. Scout. Scout's kind of interesting. Do I? No, I probably don't attack. Him. Yeah, I mean, Tavern Keeper will do the exact same thing this round as what it was going to do, but this just gives me a more opportunity to find Lifesteal. I can play Tavern Keeper this round, and it does the same. Time for the money makers. Got access, need victims. Oh, wait. Wait, that was just a... Mm, that was a bad play. Right. I forgot. I realized that this was going to level up right after I played that troll chant. Realized that was going to level up. So now I wish I... Obviously, I wish I just didn't play that troll chant right now. I just completely wasted that troll chant. Yeah, you think Starlet Seer for that deck? I love Starlet Seer. Lifesteal. I do love Starless here. It's time. 
Um, but I kind of feel like maybe Mountain Goat is going to do more. I don't know. That's that's a tough call for me of Mountain Goat or Starless here. Maybe I just play those two and I don't play... I guess maybe I don't play the, the other card. Yeah, maybe we don't play the other two, three. Which two drop would you take out? Would you take out the Mountain Goat or the other one? I can't I can't think of the name of the other one. Blue Sentinel. That's the name of that card, Blue Sentinel. Yeah, I guess we could take out Blue Sentinel. I didn't really consider taking out Blue Sentinel, but I suppose that is a possibility. What will you have? Let's you know, just play sentry there. I wanted to keep spell mana available, of course. Man, I wish I didn't waste that troll chant. How are they keeping Draven alive through? They have to just have like actual vision to keep Draven alive. If I would have blocked with Victor. Wow, they had vision. And they had vision with Get Excited. I need lifesteal in the worst way. Yeah, I should have played Sentry last round. Sorry, that Blue Sentinel thing was really bothering me, and I kind of stopped paying attention a little bit here. Okay, so they just got a bunch of those things. If I don't play, if I don't spend any more mana, I can play Feel the Rush this next round, but that's not going to be good. I think we're going to play what Glorious Evolution. A great mind was never idle. Let's please hit lifesteal. Oh, they just drew another get excited. Man, I was going to have a pretty cool turn here with everything costing one less. So, like, this was going to cost zero. And then, like, pretty soon our victory was about to be leveled up, so everything was going to cost... Like, it was about to be leveled up, because things were going to cost two less. We are going to have a good turn there. Yeah, I, re I really shouldn't have lost that game. What is Karma with Freljord going to be? Like, are they going to just be like a whole bunch of Yetis and stuff? I love these, the, the top end cards, but then again, they're Ionia, so they have Deny. But I love those in a slow matchup. Thank you, Vuj. I shouldn't have lost that game. <sighs> Gotta focus. Hey Nelson. My path is clear. Yeah, this is probably I could definitely see that Karma Winter's Breath. Could definitely see that. I'm gonna just save all the spell mana. Strength from within. Look up for like you want to make that trade? sure how I stop Winter's Breath Karma. I don't think I can. We each hold the world within. Ingenious. Order, entropy, a never-ending cycle. 
We can maybe have Victor get Spell Shield. Yeah, Casual Friday today. Oh, so then this just draws the Winter's Breath. I actually have... Talizu, I actually have a donation deck from you to basically play this deck, right? Like, this was a deck I was thinking about playing today, but, you know, didn't end up making the cut, but... You know, you had a Karma for all your deck that you just submitted to me. With triple Winter's Breath. And so, yeah, I guess Scatter Pod draw Winter's Breath. So I'll make it like a 1-1 turret. I can discard the 1-1 turret with the Sump Dredger. I want to save my spell mana here. If I save my spell mana, then I can play Glorious Evolution next round. They probably deny that. Yeah, I don't I don't like our chances of winning this game. If they just have the card deny and the card. Karma and the card Winter's Breath. I don't like our chances. Okay, well they have both parts of their combo now. And they can find him with Entreat Scatterpod. That's that's honestly really good. No, no second champion so that Entreat will draw Karma. Gosh, they can't have Deny also, right? They can't just have everything in the world. You gotta let it resolve. We gotta play a fair game. Yes, all right. We at least have a chance. Ionia speaks through me. Maybe Challenger? New materials, no mm, elusive. Not even Spell Shield. I should just be attacking with the nine. Why am I not attacking with these? Looks like I'm ready. Bye bye. Why did I attack with those? The answer lies. Because there are the, everything's dead right here. My Why did I attack with those? My Another brilliant design. No, yeah, they, they have it because they, they drew it with the scatter pod. Not exactly fair. Play Heimer first. That was really bad by me. I should have played Heimer first. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't play Heimer first there. Come on, the three of this. 
Yeah, exactly. That's what I, I needed to I needed to play the Heimer first and get the turret, and so then I could add the turret challenger. I don't know why I didn't do that. I knew, and now I am. Cool head, steady hand, unwavering heart. I got a deny out of their hand. Reconsider. Why would they minus the thing that's dying? We're gonna make some big challengers. They are tapped out. Yes, quick attack victor. That's good. Okay, so quick attack can kill the 6 6 lifesteal. 4 1 can kill karma. 2 1 can kill this. Elusive. Three one can just attack on in there. Who are you? Find enlightenment. Oh wait on this catalyst. We don't need to play it right now. Reason to wait is because we can make another challenger with this hex core upgrade, and then be able to buff the, the challenger more again. What did you get? Regen. All right, let's end round. Yeah. I guess he only regented five. So. Ooh, three sisters, not bad. I don't know what I'm doing. If they if they have the Winter's Breath combo again, I guess I'm kind of dead, aren't I? Oh man, that is so good with Karma. Just make because they just made two of those, right? Yes, yeah, so they have another in tomb. Oh, I should have played Yeah, I should play cattle right there. The spirit gives to those who listen. Yeah, I really should play cattle right there. Okay, they're just passing on the Entomb. Breathe out. Yes, of course. Genius in action. We got a donation deck. Sorry, glorious Hawkeye evolution. We got a ranked deck over there from Nasher. Thank you so much, Nasher. Demacia's Peak for ranked. Awesome. Oh, that, hmm, that didn't work out. I got three blockers, oh, that didn't work out. 
Man, I have been making a bunch of mistakes today. I have been making tons of mistakes today. I mean, entombing... Yeah, I mean, entombing karma right then. Nothing special happened. Karma created pack mentality when they created a random card at round 9 when they created one random card they got pack mentality? Are you kidding me? So I'm only 1 in 3, should be 3 in 1 if I would be playing better. Let's try to clean this up and get the last one, but man, I am not happy with myself right now. No one ever said this was an easy game. Hardly fair. Once I start papers, now faces. Can you improve perfection? Heimer. Well, we're at the spot where we both have six cards in hand. I don't really know what my plan is against all these challengers and stuff, though. I kind of need to find some more frostbite cards and things like that. My shield is yours. Prime and ready. Protect and strike. I don't really have anything good to do against the Screeching Dragon. Hopefully we kill Jarvan. No. To the flag! Light the signal fire! Soldiers of Damasia! Yeah, and then they just have the level of Jarvan now. Alright, good game opponent. Good hand. Good hand. That's gonna be a really tough matchup for us, right? Like we just have these small units and Screeching Dragon and Jarvan, those are two cards that I... Yeah, those are... That's tough, so... Really wish I would have done better against the Draven Jinx or the Karma deck, but I think that I really could have done better in both of those matchups. Um, especially the Draven Jinx. The, the Karma one, you know, they got, a, you know, an absurd random card, which was pretty unfortunate for us, but... Both of those matchups, I think, that were really winnable, especially the Draven Jinx. That was bad, but... So, you know, like that... We're a glorious evolution deck, right? We're not going to be able to beat everything. And, you know, Screeching Dragon, Jarvan, that's going to be tough to beat. And so, you know, no shame in losing that one. But I wish I was a 2 and 3 and 3 or 3 and 2 instead. But this is still a fun deck to play, right? Victor, Heimer, Glorious Evolution, definitely really fun. Challengers, Challengers are pretty, are, are pretty bad for us, right? Because we just want to play our Victor and our Heimer and just hang out and have our champions hang out 
and be on the board for a long time and and do stuff and so like they're just playing like a screeching dragon it's like <laughs> what can you do right like you, your your stuff just dies and you can't do anything oh well that's that's life that's that's life whenever you're playing the glorious evolution uh, the frostbite cards were great kind of wish i had more of them you know, yeah, I kind of wish I just had more frostbite, more removal and stuff. I don't know. The the catalysts weren't very good. This this was a card that I got. I was I had the catalyst of aeons all the time in my hand, and they weren't actually very good because I just always had to affect the board and didn't have time to play catalyst and and you know needed more. So I think instead of catalyst, those could be like another like three sisters or flash freeze. And uh, like three sisters actually helps out both champions, gives you two spells, it gives you a creative card. Um, so yeah, maybe. Maybe take out those catalysts and get like another three sisters and then another uh, removal spell, maybe another thermo beam or even just another, you know, flash freeze or, or something like that. Um, I, I could definitely see taking those things out. Maybe even a harsh winds. Harsh winds is kind of expensive. Three three sisters? Maybe not. Maybe another thermo. Yeah. Maybe just another three sisters and a thermo. And take those out need some cats that is true whenever i made this deck before i guess fallen feline yeah we could you could do fallen feline so fallen feline and the predict card you could do that okay so that would probably mean no sump dredger i could see playing some fallen felines all right so we remove that thermo beam again take out it's like avaros and sentry wasn't like that amazing maybe take out one one sentry and the Sump Dredgers, and play Fallen Feline. Maybe just take out Sentry completely, then Time Tricks. Maybe just take out Sentry then, and just have Fallen Feline be your blocker. And Time, Trump, time Trick is your draw. I've been very happy with Brittle Steel. Brittle Steel is just a good a good one of. It it does a lot. We saw that, you know, like with the Draven. Like, there's there's just so many cards that have high, high power, low health, quick attack. The Brittle Steel really does work well just very good like in this merciless hunter world right like brittle steel is a great card against merciless hunter uh, but we saw it against draven if you take out the spell shield good against Siver. yeah maybe something like that i mean i guess you can try the, the whole time trick fallen feline and, and just get rid of the sentries and stuff and maybe, maybe try that um yeah starlet seer is another option ballistic bot kind of underperformed also honestly the ignitions aren't really that important I could see taking out Ballistic Bot. I really could. It it would just... It didn't block well, and it died all the time. And you don't have, like, the mana to, to cast the Ignitions. They aren't important. No, 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 no. The Glorious... I, I feel great about having the three Glorious and the two Fielder Rush. Those You need those cards to win. Like, you, you're not going to win if you don't play those cards. You're not you're not winning. Um, time Trick makes Starlet Seer a lot worse, though, because whenever you predict, you shuffle your deck so if you play starlet here instead of bot you you would shuffle that so i would try this right here but i'd also certainly consider taking out bot and just playing a better defensive two drop like a starlet seer um you know something that survives avalanche or just playing um the avaros and sentry instead of bots and just playing fallen felines and sentries maybe that's the thing to do like i said the bots really just didn't didn't perform well so those are some options. Maybe try that out. Maybe try some Fallen Feline time trick action. Anyway, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and feel free to leave those comments. And if you're playing the deck yourself, let me know how it's going for you. But yeah, I was I wasn't I was kind of unimpressed with Ballistic Bot and with um, Catalyst of Aeons, and so maybe replacing those could could do some work. And that's true that the Fallen Feline time trick is usually good. You could even get another copy, or like an, you could get a like a practical perfectionist in here also. Like if you want to go two century, one practical perfectionist to get another predict card to be able to have a fourth card to shuffle your deck, that's perfectly fine as well. Because you'll have the fallen felines be early blockers. So some things to think about. All right, but that's going to be it here for Glorious Evolution. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.